And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm joined as always by my prison squad of Shulk, Ryan, and Sharla. Dunban, Fiora, Ricky, and Melia are also with us. They might not be as important though. When we last left off, we made it to Prison Island. We made it through the Bios's interior. I've done a little bit of changing to my party. Uh, Shulk is now on the Rafaga gear. Ryan is now on the Azura Helm, and I changed Fiora's pants. She's now on Power Boosters because they were better, and I figured I might as well equip her. Everybody else I didn't really pay that much attention to, uh, but I did also level up some arts because I had a ton of AP, uh, so I leveled up uh, Monado Enchant, I leveled up Monado Purge, Monado Eater, uh, then I also leveled up uh, Air Slash. So I have that maxed out. As you can see, I can almost just continually spam that and constantly break and slow people. It's almost there. We'll have to see what I can do later on. Uh, but I do like the sounds of that. With uh, Ryan, I'm still just hoarding. There's nothing that I could really do with his AP right now that's worthwhile for me. Uh, with Sharla, I put more into Heal Blast. As you can see, she's very close to maxing that out. It's always nice to have a huge heal coming every 39.6 seconds. Uh, I did do work with other people as well, so Dunban had uh, Blinding Blossom now maxed out. Uh, that's all that I can do with him, so we are, we're back to holding, hoarding, I should say, with uh, Dunban. With Fiora, there really isn't anything that I can do. As you can see, I can't really level up any of her stats as much as I would like right now. So I'm kind of holding that off. Uh, same with Ricky. He's still hoarding AP until that's better. Uh, with Melia, I thought about hoarding, but I put more points into Spear Break and into uh, Burst End. And we'll try to max those out at some point. But uh, that is what I did with the party. We're, we're close to learning more skills, but uh, there's not much I can do about those when we learn it. Uh, we made it to the banquet hall. And here there are enemies like Obart Obart and uh, Babel Dinosaurs. Let's call them Babel instead of Babel. Even though Babel's probably closer to where it's supposed to be. All right, taking on the Obart Obart. These are demons. I mean, there's there's no way around it. These are winged demons of doom. Look at that guy. That guy is not nice. At least not nice looking. He looks very very evil. As you can see, I did max out uh, Ryan's HP. That. Uh, the Azura Helm that I gave him, the Azura, whatever I'm supposed to call it, uh, it, it did have an HP up on it, so. That's now maxed out. And we get a sharp ear for my trouble. Uh, there's no useful uh, material drops around here now. Yeah, there is a Serene Imlali. I'm, I'm going to try to avoid Serene Imlali. Remember, memory serves me correctly, it just kind of circles the middle here. Uh, so I should be fine, kind of going around it. This is, uh, well, that's a torrid Uh This is a banquet hall. Uh, as such, there are uh, tables here. It's a little weird. Uh, this whole area is, is kind of a little weird, but uh, this area in particular, inside, it, it gets a little weird because we're in, like, actual rooms. Yeah, the... Unique monsters around here, I'm hoping to kind of avoid altogether. But uh, if I get into a fight with them, it shouldn't be too bad. I got a glowing retina. That's great. I, I what? No. Oh, super. We got another Obart Obart. I can't, I can't jump while, okay. He came down to meet me, it's fine. Oh, that, that hurt. She gonna, she gonna heal me? All right, well, she she did, but it was late. Anybody wanna encourage me a little bit? Nope. I always encourage you guys. Well, not right now because I'm complaining, but still. Oh, there. See, look, I encourage him. It works out for the best. We got huge affinity between everybody already, so that's not helping too much, but this Obart Obart is going down. 
eventually. Oh, legendary claw! The way they go. But uh, we have it won. Yeah, Charlotte was still dead at the end of that. Steel Obart Claw. Don't necessarily care about that. Uh, but I should point out that on top of these tables here are usually some. No. Well, Deadly Kiwi. I mean, that's, that's not bad. Uh, that would be Ryan. I'm trying to figure out, like, what the hell is going on over there? Um, usually on these, though, th there's, uh, something else. Now, let's see if I can cut across here and kind of, uh, avoid all the enemies. On top of these tables, there are usually... Hella raspberries! There we go. Uh, these things are useful. You want as many of them as you can get. I need six, but they're actually the best gift for Sharla in the game, so I would recommend getting as many of them as you can. Six is not gonna cut it. Alright, we're up against a Babel Dino, so it's a new enemy, so I wanted to take it on. Like I said, no useful material drops around here. So I'm not too concerned when it comes to uh, getting the good chests at this point, but you know what? Gold chests are always nice. There's always a chance uh, at this point that I can get an arts manual from even the uh, random encounters around here, if memory serves me correctly. That's not, it's not a good chest. I got a dark claw, so there's that. Uh, so if you're trying to look for hell raspberries, I'd recommend uh, the tables. All right, let's head over here and up this. I know it doesn't look like you can climb it, but you can. Um, can I avoid him? I can, all right. Now, if memory serves me correctly, and sometimes it does, uh, I don't want to head this way just yet. I, I do want to actually head down here. That was too far? That was apparently too far. Um, can I actually go through here? Kitchen door! It appears to be locked. Fair enough. We will have to find another way there eventually. I believe. Yes. Let's, uh... Let's just head up instead. Getting a little ahead of myself. I sometimes do that when I'm in big scary areas like this. Alright, avoid him, and we will head up here. To another warp. Well, seems like a long, narrow hallway. Surely nothing bad happens at the end of long, narrow hallways. Especially ones that turn a corner. Something good? A modern resistor! Not something that I necessarily need too many of at uh, all, I don't think. There's only a few things that I need multiple ones of. Hell raspberries are one of them, and the other ones are lychees. So, N not senorita scarabs. Or angry monkeys! <laughs> we'll just shove that in a book at some point. That's a scary looking thing. But, we can head down here and get ourselves a scene. What took you so long? Dixon, are you even trying to fight? Things are going to get a lot worse if you don't buck up your ideas. Come down here and say that. What on Bionis is that? The warm-up act. If you can't get by this one, you don't stand a chance against me. Stop these games, old man! You'll have to stop this thing first. Hurry up! 
I'm just itching for a good old-fashioned scrap. <sighs> Everyone, be careful. Monster want to eat, Ricky! This thing is no match for us. And it's boss time. We're up against Obelis Obart. Also, we got a new location. This is the battle arena. And I'm not sure why they're kind of freaking out about this one. We had to get through very similar looking things in order to get here. This one looks a little bit bigger, uh, but other than that, it doesn't look like a huge deal that we're taking this on. But we will take on Obelis Obarts nonetheless. We'll see what we can do when he goes for the inevitable legendary claw. That didn't work out uh, too poorly for me. I'm actually kind of surprised. Who knows how uh, more quickly these boss fights are going. Well, this boss fight, I should say. Now that uh, I have a, a party that is capable of doing a good amount of damage. Alright, there we go. We got him down to a quarter. That's probably actually not good. Probably gonna get stronger. He resists everything that I'm trying on him. Wow, that was nicely timed. I didn't do that on purpose. Alright, we got this. And everything... Everything lowers for us. So we get uh, the battle arena. We are now on the second floor. And Demon Pavlosk shows up. Whoo, that guy is high level. Uh, so I think I actually have to, unfortunately, take on Demon Pavlosk. Because I don't think I can just sneak around him. If I can, I would like to. But uh, he's slowly making his way around. He's... It's a little bit high level for me. 78. Now I'm, I just got to level 75. Can it? No. All right. Well, I tried. We're a little bit low level, but I, I like my odds. Maybe. Or he could turn on me. There we go. We got some things going for us. Oh, okay, you you need to move. Yeah, give her some space. That would probably help some. Alright, we're, we're doing alright so far. Just go for a cluster. He, he needs a little bit of cheering up. We don't necessarily have to cheer him up, but I'm going to. Alright, let's go for that, that. Come on! Do not let me do the chain attack! There we go! Chain attack! Backslash. Let's do a bone upper. And we'll try to do a dive so bad after. Headshot. Or not. Or that could be the end of it. That was not perfect at all. How dare you say otherwise. We got him down to half, though. Him being higher level than us is not the end of the world at this point. We are high enough level to be able to handle him at least a little bit. It does take a little bit, though. That's for sure. I don't know why I keep doing that. It doesn't work. Oh, we can do another chain attack. Alright, let's go for it. We're getting those pretty quickly. Same thing, bone upper. Headshot. And we stop again. That is not nice. I wanted to keep going. I had so many more moves to do, so many things planned out, and they just said no. But we've got him down. 
demon Pavlos will go down. 32,000 experience. Did you see that? All right, what do we get for our trouble? We get an Adam's apple. Uh, we also get a Z attack frame and a rare behemoth crystal. Behemoth crystal might be the best part of that, but who knows? Maybe the Adam's apple is really good. How big of an Adam's apple is it? You gonna let me through? Look, level 78 behemoths. Attack on sight too. And we get a new story quest. Chase Dixon. The bone pillar has descended, submerging the arena. Activate the bone pillar control device to return to the arena and pursue Dixon. Get out of the behemoth nest to reach the control device on the lower level. Yeah, so um, we're, we're going to head south here. I'm in the behemoth nest. And I'm uh, going to find a little climbable wall here. And just climb up this. We're going to avoid these behemoths. They are a little bit high level. Hey, Insanity Moss. Let's just hold on to that permanently. Yeah, the, the behemoths, they are they are here. They're guarding a few collectibles, but the collectibles aren't super important to me right now. They will be later, but for now, I think I'm all right. We can kind of explore the other side. Yeah, the key here is to go south and avoid those guys. I don't think you can climb up this, no. They didn't have a little thing for me to climb up. What is this anyway? An emperor beetle. How am I doing on the Collectopedia? I feel like I have most of everything. I think I'm still waiting on a lychee. No, we already got the death lychee. So yeah, outside of three things, I have one of everything. That works out very nicely for me. I still need a lot of uh, death lychees and hell raspberries, but uh, everything else, we're pretty good. All right, so here's the meal lift activator. That does not sound good, but I'm gonna hit the button anyway. And we got an update to the quest. We, oh, no, there we go. We can use the control device to return the bone pillar to its original position. And this is where things get a little dicey, as if they weren't already. I'm going to take this the slow way. I could just drop down, but it does give me kind of a, a couple seconds where I can't move, and I don't want that. All right, let's head here. How far away are they? All right, I think we're good. Let's get that. It's a lightning weasel. Oh, the things in this game. Can I get that? I'm gonna try to get that. And a dancing squirrel. The angry monkey, dancing squirrel, lightning weasel. Okay, this is probably not good. You know what? We made it. I, I didn't get all the things. But we made it. We made it to the kitchen. We're, we're hanging out here until I get all my health back. <laughs> uh, you can climb up the sides here, but uh, yeah, we're fine. Did get scared for a second there, though. Uh, there are unique monsters around here, but hey, as you can see, they're a little bit lower level. They don't expect you to be up to level 78 by this point. And... We get a bone pillar control door, but I did want to head down here. Okay, there's Cold Agashu, uh, level 77 unique monster. Trying to avoid him, but I do want to get down here and open the door. Oh, I thought I could open the door. I thought I could open it from this side. You know what? We're going to grab this. Oh, it's nice nighttime now. I'm gonna grab this, head back, and we'll just go where we're supposed to go. I'm a little scared, can you tell? There's there's some tough enemies around here. Alright. Bone pillar door has been opened. We can head back to the banquet hall, which we were in before. But now we're up here! Above the banquet hall. Did I see something? No, it's just one of the glowing things down there. All right. And we can make it to 
the bone pillar control. Let's go ahead and press it. Let me get another update to the to the quest. Very nervous. Return to the arena and defeat your enemy. This is where things hopefully will work out for the best. We'll wait there. And we will hop onto this. I believe I want to head south here. Careful not to fall off. Isn't it south? I thought it was south. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Because uh, I, I just want to actually jump into the pool of water here. There we go. They are not expert jumpers like I am. They, they don't do so well there. So now we wait for them to uh, to get their HP back. Who? Still nervous, still nervous, but uh, we want to head west. I'm up to level 75. This should be good enough for the end, honestly. And then we head down here. We just uh, discover the first sanctum. I don't think I. No, you know what? I do want to be in here. I'm scared, though, because there's this guy. An abnormal clone bard. 